In our last episode, we left Private Eye, Jack Archer, hot on the trail of missing tickets for Cornerstone's Easter play. After a young damsel in distress, Miss Dolores High, came to his office tipping off Jack on the evil doings of one Maxie Fields. Maxie had his greedy grip on the town via his right hand man and a half, Lefty the Mo Rodriguez and Hugo Weird. After giving the local Flatfoots the slip, the dastardly duo laid low. Jack went straight to the sultry source of talk soup, Violet LaRue. Violet sent Jack to a certain soda jerk with slippery lips, who led him to a chummy crooner crony of Maxie's. Closing in fast on the tickets, the final tip-off came from a not-so-delinquent derelict who clued Jack and Dolores in on the big ninth clincher. But what did it mean? The back alley barker went belly up before he could blurb the rest. Will Jack solve the riddle of the number nine? Will the tardy tickets come home to Cornerstone? Will the mind-bending maxi mystery be solved in time? Find out in the conclusion of The Cornerstone Easter Ticket Caper! Nine, 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 what? Don't push up daisies on me now. What could he mean? Of course. What? The ninth performance of the Cornerstone Easter play. Ninth performance? This year we've had a ninth performance on the Friday evening of the second weekend. But what does that have to do with our currently grave situation? The tickets weren't in the safe with the others. They were at the print shop waiting to be picked up. Miss Hart, I've got a plan to get those tickets back and catch the hoodlums to boot. All we need are those ninth performance tickets and a certain little song for this beat. Jack knew just where to go. The lair of the lioness few hunters could tame. Violet LaRue. Okay, I'll do it. I don't know why, but I'll do it. <sighs> Violet dropped the dime on Maxie. And spoon fed him just the ear candy he needed but it left a bitter taste in his sour mug. Lefty, you guys really scrubbed up. You baboons forgot about the tickets to the ninth performance. Do the job and do it right. Yes, boss. <laughs> Throw me down on your head. Yeah, okay, Lefty. Slowly. 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 <laughs> nice job, Melanette. <laughs> the tickets, Lefty. It's all over. Joke's on you, Maxie. What are you talking about? The tickets were free. What? That's right, spinach chin. All you have to do is fill out this form and indicate which of the nine performances you want to attend and then turn into the Connection Center to get your tickets. What if you can't make the performance you got tickets to? What then? Yeah! Die, you turn them in at the Cornerstone Connection Center for redistribution. Is that all? That's all. I take them to the cooler. Maxi, one for the papers. Thanks, dollface. Does this mean you and I could, Ben? I'm sorry, Cookie. Guns don't kill detectives. 
love does. And so, everything turns up roses as the prodigal tickets come home for Easter, while Maxie goes in for a steep stint at Sing Sing making state plates. And Lefty and Hugo? <laughs> they cut their crime up with a new meaty lease of life. As for Heart of Stone, Private Eye Jack Archer? Well... Jack? Yes, Miss Hart? Call me Dolores. All right, Miss Hart. I just wanted to tell you that. You just wanted to tell me that you're soft on me. And you wonder if I'm soft on you, too. Well, I am, Miss Hart. I tell you I am. In fact, I've never been so... Mm. 